Yeah, my dad gave me this ring when I was 12. He gave one to my sister as well. It's basically um, saying that I'll stay a virgin until I'm married. I take it very seriously because it's almost like a safeguard for me. I don't want to get hurt by getting into a sexual relationship that's not going to lead anywhere. When Esther's parents were called by God to become missionaries in Ecuador, she went with them aged 12. Spending her early teenage years abroad has made Esther's attitudes different from her friends at college. It's really common with missionary kids, um, once they first leave and then go to another country, to form um, relationships um, really quickly, like dating relationships. Um, I've got so many friends who've just gone and snapped up um, a guy or a girl and regretted it because I think it's just an easy way out of emotional kind of insecurity to find a boyfriend <laughs> and I definitely found that really tempting. <laughs> like Esther, British missionary kids are often schooled or have friends in American mission academies. Esther wears a true love weights ring, an American practice that promotes chastity among young people. In Ecuador, a lot of my friends, in fact all of my friends are virgins and it was weird to think that people my age would even consider, you know. But um, when I got to college, I was like, whoa, it's an option. It's things that people do. Why, why do I say no? I don't know why I say no. For example, I liked someone and he liked me back. And, um, you know, we were on official and it was quite a, an interesting time, that, because it was um, my family were all kind of upset a lot of the time because they could tell that everything was different and he wasn't a Christian which was an issue that I'd never even thought of while I was in Ecuador and I wasn't used to and I was just kind of testing the water, drinking, um, drugs, like I had no idea these issues are real, I just thought they were just random things that you know the worst of the worst did but I found myself getting involved in things like that and um, but yeah I ended it with the guy um, after like a couple of weeks and um, it was hard. <laughs> People find that really weird that I'm still a virgin and I'm 17, almost 18, but it's a part of my identity really, the fact that I don't need to have that. And, you know, from some people's view I'm missing out and I'm being really kind of, don't know, prudish, but I, I'm proud that I managed to hold on to my virginity and I'm going to wait till I'm married and it'll be amazing then. <laughs>